Bobettes. Are we assigning everyone to the Bobettes? Or are we, like we did in Houston, in Houston we had, like, somebody was assigned to A12 or something. Right, they only go to A12. Do you know we had, we didn't do that for a while. It was, we, in fact, we had so many people come in that didn't have assignments that I was telling them to go to the waiting area and then they would be assigned from the waiting area. And I was hoping that the different logistics captains would go and get who they needed and take them to there. But I know they didn't have that. I know they didn't have that. So I think that what we, so what I'm, I mean, I love this, so we can just make decisions right now, like however we want to do it. So it sounds like that if we assign the runners to A, B, C, or D, and then let the logistic captain be the one saying, I've got, you know, A6 is open, you're going to be, you know, go get some patients and do it that way. The only problem with assigning them ahead of time to a specific quadrant, A, B, C, or D, is when you have a lot of people who don't show up, which we, you know, because we don't know until they get there. We need doctors. So, no, not doctors. Oh, volunteers. So your doctors are going to be assigned. Hopefully the nurses can be assigned. But as far as the escorts go, if we could just send all the escorts down and then each logistics captain go and get out, you know, 18. We were hoping to have 18 for each one, but I think we could have 24 for each one here. Can we make, instead, could we make, I said this before, could we make 50 copies of A, 50 copies of just the letter A, 50 copies of B, C, and D, and then we actually give those to the logistics captains, and when we have the mass group of runners or escorts that were there, you're an A, and you walk up to the principal. Okay, it's Saturday, excuse me, Friday, November 20th. We've just finished the briefing upstairs. We're now in the basement of the Little Rock State Convention Center in what is called the Toltec Room, where all the supplies are, have been assembled. And in this corner of the room is a debriefing by the senior nursing staff. These are three clinic nurses, three nurses, and a medical assistant. And we're just going to eavesdrop for a moment. They're making detailed plans for tomorrow. What kinds of runners they need to have in each pod. And then they will do that orientation in that pod for their assigned runners. Then they, what you maintain, I'm trying to... Maintain flow. Maintain communication with medical captain. Maintain flow. Arrange for breaks. Monitor. Arrange for breaks. Monitor the person with the wall. Maintain communication with clinical captain. Maintain patient flow. Assign and monitor breaks. The woman on the computer is the senior nurse manager. Hi. Assign and monitor breaks. What else? Four runners. Do we need to specify? Because we don't want to get... Yes, 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 yes. Because we're just doing logistics. Okay. Because, yeah, they need to tell the runners. Okay. They need to take a lunch. Yeah, they need to... Okay. And they're just off the New Orleans health clinic, so they're using all of the experiences they learned there to improve their patient care here. This uh, Association of Free Clinics did the Houston clinic and the New Orleans clinic, and tomorrow is the Little Rock Free Clinic. That's why we have, that's why we have runners at each pod, too. And, and still, I mean, because each patient's going to have an escort with them. But if, say, the doctor runs out of something, then that runner at that, the station at that pod can shoot over there to Central Supply, grab it. Is that going to be an assignment of the logistics or the nurse? It'd be the nurse. I mean, does it go on her? She's doing logistics first. Right. We're doing logistics now. Right. Right. So my question.
question the is supplies this. Supplies that you're talking supplies. about are clinical supplies? Yeah. I mean, okay. Oh, yeah. They ran out of something. And that happened. And then we're going to just walk into the other room for a moment. This other room is where, oh, about ten professional event planners are hard at work. Um, again, taking everything they learned in Houston and New Orleans and improving the flow of patients to the various medical stations and just being sure everything moves quickly and efficiently and with great care and compassion for all the patients that will be coming tomorrow for free health care. They come from all around the country. The woman sitting in the back is her name is Peggy and she's in the and they just get their hands dirty and do all the work. No, 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 no one pulls rank here. Just get, get the work done. I like that stuff when I was kids. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's the other question. And later today, about 5 o'clock, all the medical supplies will be arriving, and I'm going to try to uh, show you that.